Hey WealthLab 8 users, Glitch here. Today we're going to talk about what's new in WealthLab 8 Build 18. Build 18 contains a number of minor fixes and enhancements and a handful of more substantial changes. So let's talk about the most important changes in Build 18. Let's get started. The first item I want to cover is a new option in position sizing for your strategy. Let me open up a strategy window here. This is the knife juggler sample strategy that comes with WealthLab. It simply buys uh, the following bar at a limit of 2% below the closing price of the current bar. I added a transaction weight here. I dragged over this transaction weight uh, condition so that all of the entry signals will be sorted by the RSI 4 and the lowest RSI values will be sorted to the top. So those signals will execute first. I'm running it on the NASDAQ 100 using a date range uh, going until October 1st, 2022. And let's go ahead and run that. Position size is 33% of equity. So we should have at most three positions at any one time. So here's our equity curve. Here is our signal. So you notice we have, on this particular day, we have 176 signals. So most of those are exits, but we have uh, this large number of entries here, you know, maybe 15 or 20 entries. So these are all limit orders that would need to be placed on the following bar. So our transaction weight is set so that if three or more of these limit orders were to fulfill the following bar, the back tester would select the three with the lowest RSI value. One way you could trade this is to select all of these orders and send them to the quotes window. The quotes window could then monitor the prices and send the orders to the order manager and automatically place the orders when they hit the trigger level. However, if you don't want to use the quote window in this way, perhaps you just want to submit only three, the top three signals. So typically we would have to do that in a code based strategy. And in the pre execute method, we could do a sort, we could keep the three. Uh, Sim symbols that had the lowest RSI. So it was a bit of a, you know, pain to do that. However, it was possible in WealthLab, but now we have a new setting here in position sizing. Max entry signals. If I change this to three, if I rerun the back test, it will only submit up to three entry signals, and it will be the ones that are sorted by my transaction weight. So you could see the signals changed here. Only three signals are submitted. This also applies historically in the back test. So you notice our profit went down quite a bit. We're now at a loss in this system because it's here simulating what would have happened if you would only have submitted the three symbols with the lowest RSI. Instead of submitting all the symbols each day and kind of seeing which ones happen to hit. So it's giving you two different ways to simulate trading a system like this. And if you want a deterministic result such that you know that your back test is always submitting only in this case three symbols, then use this new feature here. So uh, I do also want to point out that we did have a advanced position sizer called max entries per day, uh, which would also al allow you to achieve kind of the same thing, but it's much easier now that it's enabled right here for you in the position sizing area by itself. So that is the max entries enhancement that we added. The next new major feature in build 18 is an enhancement to our auto trading. 
Uh, the issue was that on the final uh, closing bar, if you're auto trading an intraday strategy, if the last bar processed needed to generate an order, Wealthlab would submit the order, it would get submitted to the broker, but the broker would cancel the order because it's happening uh, too close to after market close. So typically the brokers require a little bit of a delay before orders for the following day can be submitted. And the orders that are placed on the last bar of the market in auto trading are orders that will need to be placed for the following day. So what we did is we added a new order status. So if Wealthlab places an order auto trading at the last bar of the day, you'll see it go into the order manager and appear with a new status called final order. And it'll sit in the order manager with that status until 15 minutes after the market close. At that point, it will get submitted and the broker should then accept it. So in this way, Wealth Labs auto trading can remain in sync with orders that need to be placed on the final bar of the day for execution on the next bar. And thanks to MIH on the forum who started this discussion, hopefully this uh, will solve your problem of not being able to capture those orders, in particular possibly limit or stops that need to be active at the market open of the following day. Uh, last but not least, we have a new plot style. Let's open up a intraday chart here. So here we have our five minute spy. And let me drag over a weighted VWAP, volume weighted average price. So when I drop this here, you'll see uh, it's defaulting to a new plot style, VWAP line. So what that is doing is breaking the line whenever there's a new day. So previously the VWAP was plotted using the basic line style. So you would get these connectors here between days. So this new VWAP line eliminates those connectors, it just gives you a cleaner plot of the VWAP. So that's it for build 18. Like I said, there's a lot of other minor enhancements and fixes. So check it out. Thanks for watching everyone and see you all on the forum.